I think at this point in time, many of us can agree on a few things. Video games are political, spaces surrounding them have been successfully employed to reproduce far-right politics, and Papers, Please sucks. Though it did just make it to Eurogamer's Games of the Decade list. Ugh. Okay, but what if you are someone who wishes to change the world through gaming, you know? Someone who doesn't just care for social capital and appearing edgy with their cutesy little game that just preaches to the converted. I'm looking at you, creators of Riot Simulator, you clearly have never been in a riot in it. What if you truly wish to create tools for change rather than just signifiers? Well, here are a few things to consider. Modes of distribution. If you just release your Wii game on Steam, it is likely to hit an echo chamber of people that already agree with your opinion. To solve this, I suggest looking at how the Uber game was released via the Financial Times, for instance, rather than The Guardian, or site-specific fine art examples that bend our understanding of what a gallery could be. What is the most contentious space for your game? Utilize that. Content. Unless it tells stories of people we rarely see in games, working class people, underrepresented genders, races and regions, I truly don't care for the content. Again, even the latter can be simple reproductions of capitalism, sure. Most people play games that already reflect their political affiliations. Now that can be combated with informative, investigative journalism perhaps, think Hans Hake's work or clever marketing strategies a la Blair Witch Project, but we have hardly seen those in games yet. What's more interesting is offering conditions platforms where critical thought is mature through the player's own self-organization. Check out in-game protests in MMORPGs like Ultima Online, Westward Journey, or EVE Online. I'll put more info on those below. Ties with real activism. There are games like Corbin Run, Wolf and Tash, or Dan Head's Practice that didn't shy away from connecting their creations with real political movements and concrete organizations. If you're down for just amplifying existing voices, all kudos to you. Creator of Paper Space didn't even do that. The best of political art is uncomfortable, legally uncomfortable, civically uncomfortable, humanly uncomfortable. It's unfashionable, it's a struggle. I can't wait to see games that will actively challenge the capitalist realism we find ourselves in. Good luck to us all. Oh, and don't you ever create a game whilst your company is abusing workers? Of course, that's given. Just don't do that. In this house, we unionize. You just watched Left Left Up with me, Marianne Dushkalita. Speak soon.